Dave Nonis had a short tenure as Toronto Maple Leafs GM, but the bad moves he made are still affecting the team negatively today. This video is on the worst moves by Dave Nonis as Toronto Maple Leafs GM. These are Dave Nonis' worst trades. Trading John Michael Lyles and Dennis Robertson to the Carolina Hurricanes in exchange for Tim Gleason turned out to be a huge mistake. Gleason went on to be bought out by the Toronto Maple Leafs while John Michael Lyles had a bounce back year in Carolina. Trading Carl Gunnarsson and a fourth round pick in 2014 to the St. Louis Blues in exchange for Roman Polak was a huge mistake. This was not a smart trade because Gunnarsson was younger than Polak and had a lot more potential to give than Polak. The worst part about Dave Nonis' tenure as Toronto Maple Leafs GM was deciding which players to keep and which players to let go to free agency. Letting Clark MacArthur and Nikolai Kuhlman walk for absolutely nothing in free agency was a mistake. Both Kuhlman and MacArthur have gone on to be important role players for their respective teams now. Re-signing Tyler Bozak to a five-year deal was a big mistake because it's going to be a tough contract to move. Dave Nonis wasted the two compliance buyouts the Leafs had. He used one on Mike Komisarek, who had one more year left on his deal. He used the other compliance buyout on Mikhail Grabowski, who should have never been bought out. These are some of his worst signings as GM. Signing David Clarkson to a seven-year deal worth $5.2 million per season is one of the worst contracts in NHL history. His contract was so bad that the Maple Leafs had to trade an active player in exchange for Nathan Horton's contract, a player that would never play it. Re-signing Dion Phaneuf to a 7-year deal worth $7 million per season. It's not that Dion Phaneuf is not a good player, it's that he's overpaid. Dion Phaneuf is not a $7 million player. Notice also re-signed Phil Kessel to an 8-year deal worth $8.25 million per season. Phil Kessel is a great goal scorer, but he definitely is not worth $8.25 million per season. Because of his contract and limited no-trade clause, he could only go to a certain number of teams. The teams that wanted him only had a certain amount of cap space, so they couldn't get as much back for him. When you look at the moves that Dave Nonis made, you can definitely make an argument that he is among one of the worst GMs in NHL history. Next episode, I'm going to be talking about Greg Sherman's worst moves as Colorado Avalanche GM.